Okay, hello. Uh, hello everyone, hi. Ah, oh, dami natin ngayon. I'm really glad to see all of you here. Wait lang ha, imute lang natin para uh, walang disturbance. Thank you. Okay, sana nakamit na lahat. Okay, again, hi everyone. Welcome to our free live webinar. Uh, it feels so great seeing all of you here. Dami pang pumapasok. I admit lang natin sila, no? Okay. Um, I really hope that you'll uh you're going to stay till the end of this live webinar para uh you'll you you'll get engaged and you'll understand more what our Amazon course is really all about. Okay. Uh, let me just uh turn off the. Uh, for a while, okay? Sorry. Ito turn off lang natin yung... Okay. Here. Okay, there. Okay. So, uh, in order for me to finish this webinar on time, kasi we have to respect each other's time, uh, medyo gabi nandito sa Pilipinas, um, iba yung patunog na, iba naman, uh, meron pa ibang gagawin. Uh, let me... Uh, finish first. Let me present first, and then later na yung question and answer. May mga questions kayo. Okay, this is just going to be really short uh, and fast. Okay, Amazon e Academy, the name of the company. Okay, our topic for today leads us to the question: How to sell on Amazon? So again, this is a free live webinar by Amazon eCademy. Okay, table of contents. This is the outline of the topics that we are going to cover for today's webinar. Okay, first one is introduction. Okay, sorry. How do you, <laughs> for a while, there. First one is introduction. Next one is the what are the five business models of Amazon. Third is what is online arbitrage or what is FBA or how does it differ from Amazon business model. Uh, the fourth one is seller essentials. Okay. Uh, how do you, okay, there. Seller essentials, what are the things you're going to need before selling on Amazon. And the last one, bonus round and Q&A. So dito lahat yung, meron pa yung pag-games, of course. So you need to stay it till the end of this webinar. We would truly appreciate that. Okay, before anything else, let me introduce myself first. My name is Rai Simani. I am an entrepreneur and a full-time mom. So aside from the this Amazon business, meron din akong ibang businesses dito sa Bohol. Any one of you here is from Bohol too, then hi. Sano? <laughs> okay, I, uh, I consider myself full-time mom because even if I have businesses to manage, uh, I can just go and see my son anytime I want. So that's why I consider myself full-time. Two plus years selling on Amazon, eight plus years doing businesses, okay? Or doing business. And then the same as my students, na enrolled din ako sa seven Amazon trainings. Okay, bakit seven? Kasi I want to uh, invest more on learning. Okay? The, I, uh, in, my, in my opinion, kasi the best investment for me is uh, knowledge. That's why I really am eager to learn every day. Uh, I remembered na nag-enroll ako sa isang course just because I wanted to know how to purchase. I mean, not I already know how to purchase, but I wanted to know several ways, or other options or other methods, how to purchase products. Yun lang. Binili ko yung full course for that reason. But hindi ako nang hinayang because, again, marami akong na-learn along the way. The coaches helped me and I've learned a lot from them. Okay? And I am from Bahal. 
So what is Amazon? Amazon started off as an online bookstore in 1994, but is now the world's largest online retailer and is rapidly growing its footprint in other areas. So yung Amazon is same lang sa Shopee tsaka Lazada. Only that Amazon is worldwide na. Okay? But si Shopee at Lazada nandito lang sa Philippines, right? So that's why if you if you sell on Amazon, malaki yung coverage ng customers mo. Okay? Malaki, millions or billions of people siguro. Uh, yung coverage ng customers mo. Hindi lang yung di ba kung mag uh, uh, if you're going to build, sorry, magtataglish ako. <laughs> Kasi hindi ako talaga marunong magtagalog. Ah, uh, if you're going to build a sari-sari store, di ba yung coverage mo nandiyan lang, neighborhood or yung mga past buyers uh, and uh, yung malapit, okay? Pero sa Amazon kasi wide, napakalawak ng coverage ng audience natin, ng customers natin. And mind you, if we sell on Amazon USA, our earning is in dollars. That's why I always say uh, you can build a dollar business, kasi business to, a dollar business right from your bedroom, okay? Uh, it's rapidly growing its footprint in other areas. Uh, if you have heard of the news three months ago or two months ago, nag-announce uh, nag yung Amazon na nagbibigay sila ng free delivery sa lahat ng Filipinos if, if you're going to reach a certain cap or parang minimum amount para mag-free delivery. Okay, so that's why every time I think about it na parang di, they're starting to dominate the Philippines, nag-goosebumps ako kasi us sellers or yung mga sellers, konti pa lang sellers dito sa Pilipinas. If you don't know, konting, konting, konti pa lang na sellers dito sa Pilipinas na online arbitrage. I think a hundred plus lang. Okay, konting, konti lang. Unlike sa Shopee tsaka sa Lazada, it's full of Filipino sellers. So yung competition mo as a Filipino or Filipinos, medyo malaki. Pero dito sa Amazon, kasi hindi pa siya masyadong, wala pa siyadong um, nakakaalam. Or yung mga Filipinos dito, hindi pa nila alam, hindi, hindi pa nakakaalam lahat na pwede pala. Pwede palang magbenta sa Amazon. May system pala na pwedeng magbenta sa Amazon as a Filipino na nandito sa Pilipinas. Okay? So, that's why nag-goosebumps ako kasi parang edge, parang ang laki ng edge namin as sellers. And if you guys, if you want to be sellers too, ang laki ng edge if they're going to dominate the Philippines. If magbibuild sila ng Amazon warehouse dito, then we're going to have a really great edge. no? Kasi alam na natin, mga sellers, alam na nila, alam na namin yung whole system ng Amazon, paano magbenta sa Amazon. Okay. Let, uh, it was founded by Jeff Bezos. Okay. So, if you have heard of Amazon FBA and Amazon FBM, I will I'll try to explain no, this in detail as much as possible because uh, this is part of the course that we are going to offer. So, let's start first with the Amazon FBM. So let's start first with Amazon FPM. Amazon FPM, if ang seller ay FBM or fulfilled by merchant, the seller will handle customer service, customer refund, customer return, logistics, delivery, and shipments. The same sa Shopee, na for example, tayo di ba, customer. For example, I'm a customer. Kung may question ako sa product na gusto kong bilhin, si seller yung nagre-respond sa atin. Kung may order ako, kung mag-check out ako, si seller yung magpapadala sa mga products natin, di ba? But with Amazon FBA or fulfilled by Amazon, si Amazon na lahat mag-handle sa customer service at lahat ng ito, pati delivery and shipment. So, if ever, kun kunwari, may nag-order sa akin, if I am an FBM seller, syempre, I will prepare my products and then send them to my customers. Diba? I-prepare ko siya, i-ipapack ko siya ng maayos, i-bubble wrap, 
lahat ng process. If may question siya, ako yung sasagot. If gusto niya ng refund, ako yung magre-refund mismo. Ganun yung FBM. Parang traditional selling. Sa Amazon FBA naman, si Amazon na lahat. That's why I always tell my students that, that with Amazon selling, kahit natutulog ka, pwede kang makapagbenta, pwede kang makapagsale. Kasi, if my order, wala ka ng ibang gagawin. Kasi si Amazon na magpapadala sa customers mo. For example, yung customer mo, may question, ano bang size nito? Or kung anong questions nila. Si Amazon lahat ang sasagot. Okay, I hope I'm clear with this. Si Amazon lahat. If gusto niya magparifund, si Amazon nang din gagawa nun. Kaya, Kung may kakilala kayong nasa call center na Amazon yung account, sila yung mga customer service ng Amazon. Sila yung nag-handle lahat na ito except for the delivery and shipments. Okay? Next, I hope I made myself clear with uh, between uh, Amazon FBA and Amazon FBM. Next. Oh. The Amazon business models, these are the different business models used by Amazon sellers. Uh, first one, for a while, huh? Kasi I admit ko lang yung papasok pa lang, sorry. Ah, okay. First one, we have retail arbitrage. Okay, ano yung retail arbitrage? Kunwari. Okay, first one is retail arbitrage. Ano yung retail arbitrage? Kunwari, ako si seller. Ako yung Amazon seller. At gusto ko yung retail arbitrage na business model. Pupunta ako mismo sa uh, retail stores like Walmart, Target, yung mga retail stores sa USA. Okay? Familiar kayo doon? Walmart, Walgreens. Ba? Ako mismo yung pupunta doon para maghahanap ng products na pwedeng ibenta sa Amazon. I'll drive there. Okay? Physically, ako yung pupunta doon. para kumuha ng products, tas ilagay ko sa bahay ko, tas ipapadala sa Amazon. Okay? That's retail arbitrage. Online arbitrage, on the other hand, uh, invest na ako yung pupunta sa retail store, I will just search for products sa online stores sa USA. Invest na pupunta ako sa Walmart, pupunta na lang ako, isa-search ko na lang si walmart.com. si target.com, si walgreens.com. Don't worry, there are hundreds and thousands of US online uh, online retail stores, okay? Maraming products na i pwedeng ibenta. Do not worry about that. So, yun yung kaibahan ng retail arbitrage at online arbitrage. With wholesale naman, di kasi lahat ng products sa Amazon pwedeng ibenta sa lahat. For example, uh, alam niyo yung Ano ba yung gated? Ah, Lego. Okay? For example, yung Lego, yung mga laruan, laruan sino yung mga en may anak dito? Ah, Lego na laruan. Ayaw nilang may ibang seller na, na nagbibenta sa mga products nila. That's why, kung may, mag, mag, kung may nagbibenta man ng products nila, nag-email yan sila sa seller ng... Um, you're not allowed to sell our products, na magpa-file sila ng IP complaint. Ano yung IP complaint? Intellectual property. Kapag hindi ka nagre-reply niyan, sigurado magpa-file yan ng kaso. Okay? That's why we need to be very careful to uh, how to choose, uh, what products to choose, to, or what products to sell on Amazon. So sa wholesale, dito sa wholesale, wait lang, inumute lang natin si, okay, there. Sa wholesale, di ba sa online arbitrage at retail arbitrage, tingi-tingi lang. Tingi-tingi tingi lang yung pagbibili. Tatlo dito, limang items dito, or sampo. Pero sa wholesale kasi, gagawin ka nilang reseller. For example, Lego. Okay, I will I will allow you to become a reseller of Lego. Sasabihin ng Lego. But you have to buy 100 of these units. or 1,000 of these units. So, maramihan yung bibilhin mo. Okay? Sa private label naman, and sa wholesale, 
i-email ka talaga ng mga brand owners. Okay? Unlike sa online tsaka retail arbitrage, ikaw na mismo yung kukuha ng mga products at ibenta mo sa Amazon. Sa wholesale, mag-i-email ka ng mga brand owners mismo. Okay? Imbes na pupunta sa Walmart para maghanap ng Lego, pupunta sa lego.com. Okay? Or mag-email sa Lego mismo para manghingi ng reseller certificate or i-allow ka na i-sell yung isang product. Okay? Sa so private label naman, invest na pupunta sa brand owner or sa mga online stores or retail stores, yung gagawin ng isang private label seller is doon sila pupunta mismo sa manufacturer ng product. Yung gagawa mismo ng product. For example, uh, eto, mouse, uh, laptop mouse. Gusto kong magbenta ng uh, laptop mouse that I'm a private label seller. Maghahanap ako doon sa China, online ha. For example, Alibaba kasi yun yung pinaka uh, pinaka cheap tapos sila yung may maraming uh, parang pagawaan, pinaka malaking pagawaan doon sa China. Pwede naman sa US ka maghanap ng mga manufacturers but you have to consider the cost kasi sa sa America of course, mas mahal pero hindi na maka-compromise yung quality. Uh, pero usually, most of the private label sellers do nag-source or do naghanap ng product na ibenta sa China. So for example, gusto ko ibenta to. Tapos nakahanap ako ng manufacturer ng mga uh, laptop mouse. So gagawa ako ng brand, isistick ko yung brand dito. Kumbaga, uh, ang tawag doon, product ko siya. For example, rice computer accessories. Okay? But walang nakakaalam kung ano yung product na yun. So that, that's why you need to you need to like uh, market your products kasi nga walang nakakaalam sa product mo, di ba? Uh, sa iyo yan. That's your own product. Hindi ka ipa-file ng IP complaint or whatever because that is your own product. That's that's what private label is all about. And the last one is drop shipping. Di ko na i-explain kung ano yung drop shipping kasi first and foremost restricted siya sa Amazon. Bawal mag-drop ship sa Amazon pero may mga sellers na nag-drop ship pa rin. Uh, pero ni restrict talaga pag may ma, ma ang tawag doon mahanap silang seller na nag-drop ship. Nilagay ko lang yun dito kasi marami ding nagtatanong lalo na sa TikTok kung drop shipping ba daw yung course na ino-offer ko which is not eto yung in offer ko para ma ma, uh, ma ma identify lang na hindi siya drop shipping that it's online arbitrage okay next for a while ha let me just mute everyone para okay okay level of difficulty level of difficulty sa mga business models sa Amazon Yung red, eto red na may pinakamalaking graph, eto yung pinaka mahirap, okay? pinaka difficult na gawin na business model. Pero, disclaimer lang, this is going to be my own opinion. Iba-iba yung opinion ng kada seller ng Amazon. Depende yun sa niche nila. But para sa akin, eto yung ipepresent ko ngayon because this is from what I experienced and what I saw. I have tried being an, a private label seller. I have tried being an online arbitrage seller. I have tried being a wholesale seller. Pero hindi ko pa natry yung pagiging re, uh, hindi ko pa natry yung retail arbitrage. Bakit? Kasi wala ako dun sa US. Okay? If so, some of you here siguro na sa US, you can do this. Retail arbitrage. Okay. Pinamahirap yung private label because you're going to make a product from scratch. Ikaw yung mag-iisip kung ano yung product na ibibenta mo sa Amazon. Sa, sa China mo siya i- ang tawag doon? Sa, sa China mo siya ipapagawa. Mag-iisip ka ng brand. Mag-iisip ka ng logo. Yung barcode, hindi pwede kahit na anong barcode lang ilalagay mo dyan. Siyempre, uh, bibili ka ng barcode sa GS1 barcode, sa US yan. So, marami kang seating na. Dapat hindi wala kang, dapat i-force mo lahat sa uh, yung pagiging private label mo. Lalo ni mga products mo, yung quality, dami mong dapat um, i-check. Next, uh, for me, yung kasunod na difficult or mahirap is wholesale. Bakit? Kasi kailangan mong uh, magtayo ng company. Eh, kailangan mo i-register yung company mo sa US. It's called Company LLC, Limited Liability. Okay? Kailangan kang magbayad ng quarterly tax, annual tax, daming 
yung that's why I I find it difficult nga kasi you're gonna build a company and then magi email email ka pa sa lahat ng brand owners for you to have a reseller certificate or for you to be allowed to sell their products. That's why I find it difficult. Sa retail arbitrage naman yung kasunod na uh, mahirap. Kasi going out of the house, yun yung pagiging, uh, yun yung mahirap para sa akin. Okay? I don't like, yung, kumbaga, I'll drive to that, to that certain dollar store or retail store. Kakainin yung oras ko. Yung effort ko, di ba? Doon lang ako sa mall, doon lang ako sa grocery, doon lang ako sa wherever para maghanap ng products. And and it's, I think it's frustrating. Hindi ko na try, pero thinking about it, it's 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 frustrating for me. Sa online arbitrage naman, yun yung pinaka-easy. I'm not being biased here, ha? Just because I'm I'm doing online arbitrage. Uh, para sa akin na taga, talaga, I find online arbitrage hard. I, I mean, easy. Kasi it's purely online. Okay? It's purely online. And wala ka nang, hindi ka na mag ng product. You just have to find products. Next, investment cost. Okay? Investment cost. Ito naman yung pinaka, tadon? yung red, yung may pinaka malaki. I mean, kailangan ng pinaka, pinaka malaking investment na kailangan. Tapos yung pink, yung dito, yung uh, lesser investment cost. So private label yung pinaka para sa akin yung pinakamahal or kailangan talaga ng medyo malaking investment kasi kahit sobrang mura ng mga products doon sa China i-ship mo pa yan papuntang US okay so i-consider mo yung shipment di ba you have to consider in, yung inflation ngayon na nagtataasan yung mga freight forwarders yung shipment papuntang US. And then, of course, your brand, your packaging, dami mong uh, dapat i-consider na cost. Okay? Tapos, syempre, walang nakakaalam sa products. Ano yung rice, computer accessories? Walang nakakaalam sa product mo. So, syempre, market mo siya. Na may binibenta kang ganito, ganyan. Magtatap ka ng influencer sa TikTok. Syempre, babayaran mo yan. Or mag a ka. Marketing. Advertisement. Okay? Para mapansin yung product mo. Sa wholesale, ito yung may uh, kasunod na medyo kailangan natin ng malaking uh, investment kasi may tinatawag na minimum order quantity. Kailangan maramihan yung bibilihin natin kasi kung mas marami, mas malaki yung magiging discount. Tapos wala masyadong wholesaler na tingi-tingi lang yung pagbibili. Okay? Kung wholesale ka, kung ilaw ka nilang mag-wholesale, you have to buy products in bulk. So kung in bulk yung bibilhin mo sa isang product, syempre malaki yung investment na ilalabas mo. Sa retail arbitrage saka sa online arbitrage, 15% pareho. Kasi even if sa retail arbitrage, gagastos ka ng fuel papunta sa mga uh, retail stores, sa online arbitrage naman, may delivery fee. Diba kung kung magpapadala ka papunta sa inyong bahay, diba may delivery delivery fee naman or shipment fee. Okay? So that's why it's the same. Uh, uh, eh, silang dalawa yung may pinakamaliit na investment cost because uh, bibili ka ng products na tingi-tingi lang. Okay? Bibilhin mo yung mga buy one get one, buy one take one or sale 50% off, 80% off. Tingi-tingi lang tatlo tatlong ay tatlong units lang, apat na units. That's why you can start with just very little investment with um, online arbitrage and retail arbitrage if you're in the USA right now or Canada or Mexico. Okay, online arbitrage. Again, our course, our course, the course that we're currently offering is online arbitrage. It is a product sourcing method where you buy an item from an online retailer or online store to then sell it a higher at, at a higher price on Amazon. So bibili ng products sa online store, tapos isi sell sa Amazon at a higher price. Ganyan yung online arbitrage. Okay, so how does it work? These are the general steps of online arbitrage. Online retailer stores, prep center, Amazon fulfillment center. So uh, let me just demonstrate para mas clear talaga sa lahat. Okay, ayan. Kita lang ba? Okay, for example, ito si online retailers or si online store. Okay, 
Tapos ito si Prep Center. Tapos ito si Amazon Fulfillment Center. Si online store or si online retailers, dito tayo bibili ng products. Okay? Sa US to ha, dito tayo bibili, bibili ng products. Para, tas i-deliver natin, syempre wala tayo doon, di ba? Wala tayo sa US. Nandito tayo sa Pilipinas. I-deliver natin siya sa prep center. So si prep center yung magiging business partner natin dito. And napaka-importante ng role ni prep center sa business natin na to because sila yung magre-receive, check, label, prepare, and uh, pack your products to send them to the Amazon fulfillment centers. So wala tayo doon para gumawa ng lahat. Bakit kailangang may prep center? Kasi hindi si Amazon Warehouse or si Amazon Fulfillment Center ayaw niyang tanggapin yung mga products na may Walmart box. Na naka-Walmart box, na naka may Target box or ano yung packaging na yan. Tapos walang label. Kailangan, bago nila tanggapin yung products, kailangan naka-label na yan, prepared na yan, or else they, were, they will just um, not accept it or reject your products then end up wasting money. Okay? So again, bibili tayo ng products sa online stores like Walmart. I-deliver natin yan sa prep center. Si prep center yung mag-check kung may sira ba, kung expired ba. Tapos siya yung uh, mag-label ng products, mag-prepare ng products para isend na, ready to send na to the Amazon warehouse or what they call Amazon Fulfillment Center. So si Amazon warehouse, siya yung magiging storage mo habang wala pang bumibili ng mga products mo. Siyempre naman, di ba, hindi naman pagka, pagka, ayun tawag doon, na sold out agad, di ba, hindi naman ganon. So habang wala pang bumibili sa products mo, si Amazon Warehouse yung mag-store noon. Kasi since FBA tayo, kung may mag-order, si Amazon na din mag, mag, magpapadala noon, mag-ship noon, kung sa, nasaan man yung customers natin. Kung may question sila, sila na yung magsasagot. Okay? So question, bakit, uh, bakit ayaw ni customer bumili sa online store na mas mura, bakit dun sila bibili sa Amazon na mas mahal? It is because There's a thing called Amazon Prime. Parang subscription yon. Na yung customer, kapag nakasubscribe sila sa Amazon Prime, they're entitled to receive the products, okay? Two to three days delivery. So, sobrang bilis. Minsan nga, same day delivery. Okay? That's, uh, that's what Amazon Prime is all about. Kung bibili sa dito sa online store, yes, it's cheap, pero hindi nila mahanap yan agad-agad ha. It's cheap, pero it's gonna take them weeks or more bago ma-receive yung product nila or in order nila. That's why they tend to um, uh, purchase sa Amazon. And I don't know about them, but I, hindi kasi nila minamind yung uh, let's say $10 na Diferensya, di ba? Pag, pag dito sa atin, kahit 5 pesos lang yung difference, doon talaga tayo sa mas mura. Pero doon sa, sa kanila kasi, they they really don't mind. From what I have observed, ha, from selling 2 years plus, they really don't mind kung as long as they can just receive the items uh, fast. Okay? Next. Okay. Oh, wait. Let me just... Okay. I hope I'm clear with this, ha? the workflow sa mga products natin. Next, is this business right for you? Okay, just you, you try to ask yourself now if para sa'yo ba tong business na to and um, kaya mo bang gawin to? Kaya mo bang itake to? But always remember na learning is a very great investment. Okay? And may nag-ana sa'kin, sa nag-message sa'kin, sa sabi niya, um, kung pwede ba daw mag-testimony yung student ko or yung mga students ko. I tried asking one of them because she's also my friend. So, nag-agree siya na mag-testimony but then, may errand siya bigla. Nag-seminar siya, 6.30. So, yung ginawa niya is nag-video na lang siya. Okay? And um, I appreciate her effort, of course. 
testimony niya to as our student sa Amazon Academy. Academy, sorry. Okay, I remembered when when no first uh nung hindi pa siya nag-enroll, sabi niya, mag-e-enroll daw siya sa akin because for one, she's my friend. I, I'm her friend and she wants to support me. She's my first student, ha? She wants to support me daw. So that's why he took my course. And then, sabi niya, yung, yung profit ko dito, at least makabayad man lang ng insurances niya kasi kumuha, kakakuha lang niya ng insurance. Sabi niya, yung profit ko dito, at least makabayad man lang ng insurance. But then, she realized na malaki pala yung ang tawag doon? Malaki pala, pala yung ang tawag doon? Opportunity na kayang ibigay ni Amazon. Kasi na-try na niyang magka-sale, magka-profit, tapos ang dali-dali lang pala sa side, I mean, ang dali-dali lang palang maubos ng mga products. No? That's why she tried investing more time kasi napaka-busy niya ang tao. She's, she's also an entrepreneur and napaka-busy niya. That's why she tried to delegate the tasks. So I'm gonna show you her video. Thank you very much, Jessa, if you're here. <laughs> uh, Hi, guys. So this is me, Jessa. So I'm from Bohol. I'm a mom of two and I'm also a freelancer. I'm one of the first students of Coach Rai in... Amazon Academy. So I'm grateful for her for helping me to start this Amazon journey with her. In my experience for the first month, my most challenging part is the product searching because you need time and effort. And major challenge po kasi sa akin yung time for now. So my ways naman na mag hire ng VA, for the first month na wala po kaming VA, I sold four products which wins the yung product four products na nagwin sa buy box at saka in the first month i sold 240 dollar nakasell pa ako ng 240 dollar medyo hindi pa siya masyadong malaki kasi nagle-learn pa ako product searching medyo challenging pa kaya this second month i hired VA na <laughs> talaga kasi kumikita talaga eh so bakit pa, di ba, full out na lang. Kaya yun, nag-hire kami ng VA and I'm so excited to my Amazon journey kasi yung nakikita kong opportunity dito, malaki talaga. Pag may pampunan ka lang, okay na okay. So, eto, sana mag-add value yung na-share ko sa inyo na experience. And yung system na shiner ni Coach Rai sa amin, effective talaga. Kasi kami group of friends sumali dito. And I'm the first one. That's why I'm the first one earning. And I hope marami tayong kikita dito sa Amazon with Coach Rai. Grateful kami sa iyo, Coach Rai. And thank you so much, everyone. Have a great evening. Okay. Again, she's she's just that she's my friend. Uh, napaka busy niya kasi she didn't have the time. Part of the course is to teach you how to do product research. Kung may VA man dito, you can raise your hand to check if my VA ba. VA, Amazon Virtual Assistant. Yan, sila. Sila yung naghahanap. Oh, yan, my VA. Wow. Uh, that's nice. That's nice. My edge ka na talaga. Oh, ang daming VA. Ang daming VA pala. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thank you very much. Oh, daming VA, ha? <laughs> Hi. Okay. So, sila yung... Ito kasi yung nangyayari. Um, wow, daming VA. Wow. Thank you very much for coming to our live web webinar. Okay, again. Uh, si Jessa kasi, she's an entrepreneur. Uh, she's an entrepreneur. So, napaka-busy niyang tao. But then, nung nag-start siya, nag-start siya October last week. I think October 25, I think, October 25, nakapag-sell, nag-start siya ng sell November, when, no, November 20-something, basta after a month, na-sold out na yung tatlong products niya, yung isang product, sampung units, yung isang product, limang units, I think, basta na-sold out yung tatlo, bali, isa na lang yung natira doon. Ah, uh, kaya nung na-check, oh, wait lang ha, uh, i-mute lang natin para walang ano. Okay, ayan. So, na-sold out lahat 
yung products niya in just a month from joining Amazon Academy. Kasi may system na si Lusunod. But then, she was busy. That's why apat lang yung products niya na binibenta. But now, ang dami niya ng sinend. Kasi nga, hindi niya in-expect. Kasi nga, sabi ko, ba she just joined because she, I'm her friend. She just wants to support. But then, she realized na malaki, sobrang laki pala ng opportunity na kayang ibigay ni Amazon. The VAs here right now listening to me, alam nila kung ano yung pinagsasabi ko. If you're, if you're looking, si Jessa kasi, she decided to hire a VA. She decided to hire a VA para, kasi nahihirapan siya sa product research. Yun yung medyo tricky na part ito. Pero kung may time ka, tapos napaka, uh, nag-effort ka naman, don't worry because there are a lot of products to send. Okay? Don't, ma- ma- makakita at makakita ka ng products. Okay? There's hundreds and thousands of online stores in the US. Do not ever worry about that. Ito lang talaga siya. So, so sobrang busy. Kaya nag-hire na siya ng VA. Marami na siyang products ngayon. Same as you guys, but you have to consider for two na, syempre, magsasweldo ka ng VA. Or kagaya ko, nung una, yung hinar ko na VA, kapatid ko lang din. <laughs> That's why I I, tra- I was able to generate an income to na Kasi yung VA ngayon, medyo mahal na, di ba? I think they're, medyo malaki na yung ano nila, early rate nila. I also have VAs, but, uh, you know, <laughs> since they're my relatives, <laughs> hindi talaga yung standard rate na VA. You can do that too if you want, if parang napo-frustrate kayo sa product research. Alam ng mga VAs yan. Pero yung mga VAs dito, alam kong napaka-husay na nilang gumawa niyan. Okay? Product research. Let's go. Let's continue. Kasi parang ano na. Eight, uh, okay, 40 minutes na. Okay, uh, seller essentials. These are the basic requirements to secure first before selling on Amazon. Dapat na, meron tayo nito ha. Okay, first one is laptop or computer. Since our business is nakabase sa USA, Dapat may laptop tayo or computer. Diba? Kasi online, 100% online yung business natin. Next one is passport or driver's license. Or yan, kasi either of any of uh, these two. But as long as hindi siya expired. Okay? Third is debit card and or credit card. Ginawa ko yung and or kasi yung hinihingi naman talaga ni Amazon is credit card. So kung may credit card ka, goods ka na. Pero kung wala, may isang student, he's in Taiwan, Right now, he's in Taiwan. Wala siyang credit card. Okay? So, trinay namin. Sabi ko, sir, baka may debit card ka dyan na may MasterCard tsaka Visa sa baba. Yung nakita niyo yung card niyo, na may MasterCard tsaka Visa. Sino yung may debit card dito? Tapos, may expiry date sa front. Tapos, sa likod, may CVC. BPI yung ginamit niya. Nag-go through naman. <laughs> that, napaka-amazing, no? It's, it's, it's nice. So, na go through naman but I don't want to I don't wanna push talaga na it's okay to have a debit card I to use debit card but na go through kasi yung sa kanya okay but if you have a credit card use the credit card and you're good to go wala kang problema next document with exact address for example yung bang document na my name mo whole name tapos yung address mo okay for example like utility bill uh, PLDT I think electricity uh, statement of account, yung mga credit card statement to, or yung bank statement nyo, basta as long as my name, tapos may, ang tawag dun, address. Okay? Kasi minsan, hindi nila ina-approve agad yung seller. They have to verify if you're really living there. If you're, you're really a true, uh, if you're really, um your address is really there. Pero yung sa Taiwan ko na student, He's in Taiwan, but yung ginawit niya na address is dito sa Pilipinas. Pero sa address na yon, may kamag-anak naman siya. Okay? So may magre-receive ng code. Magpapadala si FedEx, si Amazon ng code. Okay? Para i-confirm. Pagka-receive mo ng code na yun, yun yung parang OTP, kumbaga. Okay? To check if you're really there sa address na yon. Okay? Pero... Most of the time, hindi na sila nagagadon. If they find na wala na problema, lahat, okay naman, diretso na. Okay? On that same day, I mean, uh, and the next day, may account ka na sa Amazon. Only, uh, I think, pag may ano lang, slight different, uh, pag slight ano lang, 
Kaya ginagano nila, yung coding-coding. And then, of course, since this is a real business, no? this is a real business, we need to have a startup capital. Okay? Kailangan talaga ng startup capital para ma-start natin si Amazon. Yung startup capital, yun yung ipambibili natin ng mga products. Okay? Next. Oh, okay. Uh, we're end the pala tayo. Okay. So, uh, game, uh, this is the bonus round. Just to cheer us all up, no? Write your answer on the chat box. Uh, I will I will open the chat box. Paano ba to? Hindi <laughs> ko makita. Ayan. Ayan. Ino-open. Ay, ang dami na palang nag-chat. Nag Sorry, guys. Hindi ko na nabasa. <laughs> Okay, hi everyone. Dami niyo palang chat. So sorry, hindi ko nabasa kasi naka-zoom yung ano. Pwede ba online lang yung statement of account? Yes, later ha, i sasagutin ko isa-isa lahat to. Magi-games muna tayo just to cheer us up. Ah, uh, so I sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry, sorry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bonus round. <laughs> May naka-answer na. <laughs> Oh my god, sorry. May naka-answer na. <laughs> Full skill. Ayan. So, hindi ko, na, hindi ko nakita. Na next ko pala. For 50 pesos GCash, what does FBA stand for? Naka-answer na si Sir Jerus DS. Okay? Uh, please, if you have, I'm just gonna write your, anong tawag doon? I'm just gonna write your uh, name. Okay, just send me on my Facebook account uh, your GCash number. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and daming, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Hindi <laughs> ko kasi nakita. <laughs> yes, FBA stands for Fulfilled by Amazon. So congratulations, Sir Jerus BS, uh, for winning our 50 pesos GCash. Next question. For 100 pesos GCash, who will directly receive the items or products that we will buy at online stores? Ayan! <laughs> Ang bilis ah! <laughs> Parang hindi ko pa ako natapos. Ang bilis. At right, prep center, si Sir Lloyd, yung first nakasagot. 100 pesos GCash yan. <laughs> Congratulations, just send me. Uh, Ang tag doon? <laughs> Congratulations, Sir Lloyd. Yes, Prep Center. Okay, from uh, Tagtawdon. Uh, yeah, just, ka, Sir DS, Sir Jeros DS, can you write your number? Para, kasi baka may mag, ah, ano, natry ko na kasi yan, nagpapapremyo din ako, tapos iba yung, sabi niya siya yung nanalo, pero hindi naman pala. Uh, nagbigay na si Sir Lloyd ng number, si Sir, ano na lang, Jeros DS. Uh, next question. For 150 GCash, which Amazon business model needs a bigger investment cost? I ask you, please. Oh, and dami. Um, <laughs> I'm really sorry. Okay, wait. Ang bilis, ha? Okay, yan. Si Sir, ah, si Ma'am Carmela De Los Santos. Pakiano ng GCash mo, Ma'am, ha? Si Sir Jeros, nasa Singapore pala si Sir Jeros ngayon. <laughs> Baka may kamag-anak ka, Sir, na may ano. <laughs> Baka may kam Yes nga, ang bilis. Hindi pa nga ako natapos mag-ano. <laughs> yes, ang bibilis. Baka mga VA na din to sila. <laughs> okay, nakuha ko na. Ayan. And the last question, hindi na to GCash. 10% discount on your Amazon course. Which Amazon business model is being offered by Amazon? All right. I don't know. I'm bilis. <laughs> Ayan si Sir Ronnie Dagapioso. Sir Ronnie Dagapioso. Okay. Just give me. Ah, si Sir Ronnie Dagapioso. Okay. 10% discount sa aming Amazon course if you're going to have a big box. Okay, uh, I think isang letter pa lang na-type ko, may nasagot na. <laughs> Oo oh, nga, ang bilis, no? Anyway, let's continue. Hindi ko na makita yung mga chats niyo ha? Okay, sorry. Hindi ko na makita yung mga chat, uh, chats niyo. Later. 
I think we're done. So now we are open for uh, questions. Open na tayo for questions. Let me just exit. How do I exit? Oh, yeah. You can write your questions sa chats. You, uh, isa isa lang ha. Okay. Wait lang. Isa isa lang. Uh, raise your hand. Uh, si Sir Earn. Sige po. Sir Earn. Sir Earn, feel free to ano. Feel free to. Yeah. Are you there, Sir Earn? Si Sir Earn muna po ha, kasi ang dami. Ang daming nag-raise ng hands. Sir Earn, are you there po? Sir Earn? Hello. Oh, okay. Hello. There. Hello. Ak akala ko sa chat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dito na lang. Ah, sige. Yung question ko is about legality and okay. taxation. On mm -hmm. average, dun sa kinikita nyo ngayon, magkano yung binabayaran nyo sa tax? sa okay. BIR at saka awesome. ano yung klase ng license na kailangan natin since this is a business di ba? Mm -hmm. okay 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 di ba kung uh, I, I'm not a legal advisor about that ha? but that's from what I know and that's what they said to me sa other sellers okay, uh, okay. if you wanna li like really go dig uh, dig deeper on that uh, uh, ta uh, anong tawag yung topic you can Go and ask a, an, I think an, an accountant like that. But this is from what I have, uh, what I know po, okay? Sa tax, hmm. sa tax, si Amazon na bahala nun. They're gonna, uh, kasi pag mag-product research tayo, may tax na kasali, okay? So okay, si, no, si, uh, hindi yung tax sa US. US is a different country. So since we are earning our money from the US, that was, Capital gain actually itong mangyayari sa atin, di ba? Since nagsisell tayo, meron tayong capital, mag-garin uh -huh. tayo ng profit through selling. Si US, may sarili siyang structure ng taxation. Yes, Ngayon yes. dito sa atin, since we're earning, paano tayo nagbabayad ng tax? Ah, uh, eto. Yung seller, wait lang, hasa ka ba yun? For a, for a while, for a while. Or hindi tayo nagde-declare ng ating... Hindi, ba, hindi kasi, bali yung income tax, Mm -hmm. Hindi kasi hindi hindi tayo yung state um, tinatawag na state tax doon sa US. Hindi kasi tayo dito nag sell sa Philippines. Okay? So mm -hmm. bale, kung mare-receive na yung for example, nagpe pay out na si Amazon sa bank natin. Okay? okay? Yung tax natin bale magagamit lang sa Pilipinas if ever we're going to buy for something, we're going to uh, wala, wala kasing permit na kay, na binail dito kasi again, we're we're selling there sa US. We're selling there sa US. We're 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 doing business sa US. So yung magpo-purchase, yung magpo-purchase ng products natin. I mean, yeah. I mean, sorry, sorry. Yung customers kasi nakabase sa US. Okay, so that's why we're going to pay taxes sa US and not sa Philippines. From that's from what I know po ha. Kasi mm. my taxes are going to be deducted na right when I start buying products here. I see. Kasi yung mga freelancer na ang client nila is nasa US, they have to register sa BIR. Yung Still, mga ano tapos po? Tapos kailangan na yung mga ah, freelancer na ang client oh, okay. is abroad, kailangan din. So this is essentially freelancing din. Parang ganyan, di ba? So ah, may kinikita okay. tayo and I think kailangan natin ng mga license. Wala ba tayong license? Kasi well, yung, medyo so, risky siya. Paano pag pumasok ang gobyerno pala? Yeah, but I I think mm -hmm. uh, wait lang ha, kasi sa Pakistan very antog don, very very balipap tu na sila sa Amazon selling like that. From what the other coaches have told me then, and I I also had a Filipino coach, yun din yung ano niya antog don suggestion mm -hmm. na na it's okay not to 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 build a bit. I mean not. Kasi yung business, for example, business permit, yung mga businesses ko dito may permits, it's because physically they're here. I, I'm selling to the Filipinos. I'm selling to the to my customers here. But since yung mm. business ko is nasa US, tapos, um, anong tawag doon? Pag, uh, pagkadating na, bali, pag, pag nagpa-pay out na si Amazon sa akin, magta-tax na, magsa-start na ng tax si, si, sa Philippines sa akin, 
if I'm going to uh, like spend it or elsewhere. Because I have business. I'm. I mean, what other business should I should I I should I ano po ang tawag uh, Should I build? Because lahat yung pati tax, pinafile yan oh. eh sa US. Hindi naman tayo habol ng BIR niyan since may kinikita tayo. <laughs> so far, mo. so far, wala na ba po? Kasi But may it... trace ito, di ba? Nakadirect ito sa account natin. They can easily audit. Possible yun, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Na that's... Kasi in the long run, tapos ang laki-laki mo na, makikiliti mo si BIR siguro or the Philippine government itself. Ah, Nangyayari uh, yeah, ito but... ng pandemic actually. Kaya... Yeah. Medyo concerned But ito. yung Amazon VA yung kasi, sir, that's, um, that's yeah. salary. Hmm. That's salary. That's why I think they're 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 obliged to get a BAR like that. Kasi that's salary. Pero okay. if resident like if um if resident if nandito ka sa Pilipinas and you're selling outside the Philippines, then there's no need for you to pay taxes here. Kasi unang una hindi ka naman nagbebenta dito. You're going to pay for taxes if you're going to buy items here. If you're going to sell here. That's from what I know, sir. If you're going to dig deeper about this one, um, okay. you, you can talk with Siguro an accountant. Oh. Pero mag- <laughs> maganda nga yung opportunity, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kasi yeah. nga lang, may nakikita ko na rin sa ganyan. Kasi yes, mo, yes. kung ang gagawin natin, kung plan natin is to really focus on it, I think really magiging malaking endeavor ito in the future. Ang problema, uh-huh. kapag lumalaki tayo, meron tayo mga... <laughs> tao sa gobyerno na hindi nila nagugustuhan yung mga maliit lang. Uh, yes. Yeah. They, they ah, really and those are all 249,000 below annual tax hmm. free ka regardless freelancing or online business. May nag nag-chat dito. Medyo Kasi that's what 'yun sa pino-project natin. Sa, <laughs> yes, ano, yes, sa yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know. I've earned yeah. more than that too. And honestly, honestly I I have businesses here. I have business permits here too, but sa Amazon kasi wala. I mean, there's no need for me. There's no need for me to pay business tax kasi unang-una, wala akong business dito sa Pilipinas. I see. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I, I hope... Kasi ikaw yung nandiyan eh. First time ko kasi sa ganyan. Yes, yes. Yes, don't... Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Anyway, yes. Mag-research ako in depth sa ganyan. Yes, Just yes. Just to be okay. sure. Uh, yeah, that, that's what I heard from. I uh, Yes, thank you, thank you, sir, for questioning that. That's mm-hmm. what I heard from. And, and wala din akong narinig na nagbabay sila ng tax na hindi sila nag, nag-build ng business dyan. Okay. okay. <laughs> I hope okay. I answered your question, sir. <laughs> thank you. Oh, so next. Salamat. Uh, thank you, thank you, sir, Ern. Okay, thank you. Um. Uh, next, si Miss Ivy Manganaan. Um, hello, Miss. Um, question ko. I wait lang. Address ko na yung question. Ay question ni Sir about set tax. I ask my cousin kasi about that. Kasi medyo sa dios to. Um, business na Amazon and I am a BA. Kaya I am an Amazon BA. Kaya alam ko nga ano kalaha yung pading maging natin dito sa Amazon. So mm-hmm. I ask my cousin about the taxes. Sabi niya, wala pa namang daw na nasusulat about that na. from US um business tapos dito sa Pilipinas wala daw siya atang connection so far ngayon as of now pero hindi natin alam kasi we are going ano na di ba we are going yeah yeah na. digital <laughs> uh, so sabi na hindi niya hindi niya na ako nasagot so sabi ko so so far kung ngayon ako magsisimula wala akong tax siguro doon ako sabi niya yeah your freelancing lang yung may tax yun sabi niya sa akin Yes, yes. And then yung, and my main question is, di ba, sabi mo, US, Canada, and Mexico, tama yes, ba yes. na? Yes, yes. Um, how about the UK po? Ba't hindi po siya nakasali? Ah, uh, okay. When you uh, have just opened an account po, when you have just opened an account, the free, ang tag doon, free marketplaces, or you're allowed to Uh, sell right away to three marketplaces that's US, um, Canada, and Mexico. I didn't um, offer it in my course yung other uh, states, I mean, other countries kasi medyo complicated na din siya and it's going to cost a, cost us a lot more. I want, I want, I really wanted us na since medyo marami din tayong nagsisave, maraming um, medyo, ang tawag doon, maliit lang din yung capital. And it's a start. As much as possible, konti lang muna yung ipapalabas natin. Kasi if we're going to, uh, ang tawag doon, sell to other marketplaces, that's, go- that's going to cost us more. 
uh, okay, so how about yung LLC na sinasabi nila by the, ano, yung mga, di ba, pag magbibuild ka ng online, uh, online shop is kailan mo ng LLC. Sa online arbitrage ba, walang ganun? Ah, uh, you can build an LLC, you can register for an LLC sa online arbitrage, but it's not necessary. Oh, uh, okay. Last question, kasi I am an Amazon, um, uh, BA, so alam ko yung mga, ano, mga, tools na ginagamit. So, same tools mm-hmm. lang ba? And how much it is? Kasi hindi ko rin masyado alam. Kasi binaprovide lang din yan siya ng mga clients namin. So, okay. usually... Um, ganun, ah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so, usually, sorry. kipa, uh, sa AMP, ganun, seller X, AMP, or BPP, ganun lang din ang ginagamit sa US. Yes. Um, uh, online arbitrage ka ba, ma'am? Na VA? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. UK actually. Kaya sabi ko, ba't walang UK? Alam na alam ko yung UK tapos wala. <laughs> it's the same. It's this. It's the same. Pero may konting ano lang sa tools. Uh, Seller Amp and Kipa, yes. Uh, tactical Arbitrage, have you heard of that? Yes. Um, uh, yes. Uh, so, yun, mga tools. Siya. Yes. Pero yung, yung ino-offer, I mean, yung in-introduce ko talaga or sinasuggest is buy Kipa muna. Buy Kipa and then VPN yung mga tools lang muna na kakailanganin for manual sourcing and reverse sourcing kasi nga as much as possible hindi muna tayo pero kung malaki naman yung capital mo why not di ba <laughs> yes. it's the same it's so the same sa, ano, so this is this is lang talaga US and and ganun so basically magsisimula talaga sa US ganun po yes uh, sa UK lang talaga is you're you're going to go for UK stores am i right Um, okay lang din naman lumipat ng ano ng market kung which is the ano the easiest kasi naman kailangan naman natin yung easier part of the <laughs> job. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think I cannot help you with um, transferring to UK but kasi I mean I can help you with that but kailangan ka muna magpapa-approve sa Amazon to sell on UK uh... marketplace. Yes. Okay, so... I tried applying for UK and Japan until now. Hindi pa nila... <laughs> hindi pa nila... Sige, US muna tayo. Kasi US, yes. yung sabi mo, is the most yes. easy part of the... Ano. Sige, thank you. Yes, yun yes. lang po. Thank you, thank, thank, you. You, thank you, Miss Ivy. Next, your um, Bobby Badialan. You can unmute na po. Sir Bobby? Ah, uh, okay. Sir Bobby, hello? Ah, yan. Hindi ka naririnig po? Sir Bobby? Ah, uh, okay. Hindi naririnig si Sir Bobby. Uh, have you tried joining audio po or or ako lang ba yung hindi nakarinig kay Sir Bobby? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, how about lang? Uh, how about this, sir? Uh, while waiting for you to uh, unmute or you can, ano, tag doon? You can message the chat. Sa chat na lang po and then I'll read your your question later. Ayan. How much po ang capital? Minimum and maximum? I know you're gonna ask about Uh, capital. So I tried to doon, I tried preparing a presentation about that because I don't want to go directly to the capital. It's it might go it might get you overwhelmed. Ayan. So start up capital yung nilagay ko dito. Makikita naman yung screen ko, di ba? So start oh, Okay. Okay. Sa, sa startup capital, sir, break out the sub, sa startup capital if you only have 25,000, sorry, 25,000 to start. Yung 25,000, ito yung pinakamaliit, at least, okay, at least meron kang 25,000 for uh, startup capital. Yung question mo na maximum, 
unlimited po. Mas bigger capital, mas bigger profit, mas bigger yung returns mo. Kahit tanungin mo pa yung mga VA, siguro may mga VA dito na million, millions na yung earned ng ano. So walang maximum. Depende po yan sa iyo kung magkano yung kaya mong i-risk po. But I I suggest na wag muna pong dire-diretso na mag-risk na ganun kalaki. Hinay-hinay lang, no? I have a student Uh, I have a student na nag-start siya with only 20,000 pesos. But, but, if 20,000 pesos lang yung, ang tawag doon, yung capital mo, you have to make sure na yung profit mo in a month, more than 50%. So, kung may 20,000 kang capital, you have to make sure na yung profit mo in a month, like 10,000 yung profit, para may babalik sa'yo na 30,000. At least, makabayad ka ng seller subscription na 2,300, basic tools na 2,500. Kasi ito yung monthly cost na, ba, na babayaran natin. 2,300 for the seller subscription and then 2,500. So around 5,000 yung uh, monthly expenses natin sa business na to. So if, you're, if you have 20,000 na for product investment, you have to make sure na yung profit mo in a month You have to make sure na yung profit mo in a month, kaya niyang bayaran yung seller subscription tapos may matitira ka pang profit para sa iyo. Okay? Uh, uh, kunwari, sa 20,000, ta- uh, sa 20,000 na product investment, tapos 50% yung ROI. So 10,000 10, yung profit. 30,000 mababalik sa iyo in a month, babayaran mo yung seller subscription, babayaran mo yung basic tools, yung natira is magiging uh, clean profit mo na it's either kukunin mo or i-roll mo as pang capital para yun na, yun, yun na yung uh, palakihin ng palakihin. Okay? Sige po, thank you. Nakamute ka po kasi hindi ko hindi ko kayo naririnig. Anyway, I think I think I've answered your question. Okay. Uh, next, si Sir, uh, si Ma'am Rich Rich how? Ma'am Rich how ba? Am I, am I, correct me if I'm wrong, ha? Tama po, tama po. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. I actually, I started already Amazon, kaso lang, medyo, hindi na siya medyo fail, failed talaga siya. So I wanted to change a uh, business model kasi parang <clears throat> ang nangyari is private label pala yung napasukan ko. Kasi I already have an item in Amazon kaso hindi siya nagwo-work kasi kailangan ko pa talaga siyang gawin as private label. So gusto ko mag-shift from private label to online arbitrage. So kumbaga yung account ko is ready na and all, meron ng account, meron ng credit card. I started actually earning pero sobrang liit lang tsaka hindi movable yung item. Can I still add an item from online arbitrage or kasi yung supplier ko is from Alibaba. So I wanted to change my business model na instead doon ako kukuha from Alibaba, I'll just source from US para mabilis lang yung shipment, mabilis din yung alam mo yun, yung yes. pag uh, pag benta kasi nga yung product ko is tested na well sa private label kasi kailangan mo pang ang dami pong ang dami ko ano kasi siya I started it from scratch, sariling right. knowledge ko lang. So ngayon, uh, na-realize ko na mas bet ko pala yung online arbitrage kasi yung process, mas mabilis. Ako, according nga doon sa explanation mo, explanation nyo po na 40% yung risk or yung parang mas mahirap talaga yung private label compared sa online arbitrage, which is really, really true. So ngayon, pwede po bang yung sa existing account ko, mag add ako ng product na from online arbitrage or yung source product ko is from US instead from yes. Alibaba? Actually, we have the same story. <laughs> I think we're going to have the same story. <laughs> okay. I also started as private label. <laughs> Yon. Yeah. Tapos naginflation. Ayoko na. Parang yung PPC. Ayoko na. <laughs> oh, Ayon. nag PPC din ako. Uh, sobrang sobrang hirap kasi I started it from walang coach yung sariling sikap. YouTube Academy yung mga ganon. <laughs> Tapos. Okay. Uh, tina- ayoko mo nang mag-enroll sa mga any courses kasi gusto ko munang paghirapan and then na-realize ko it's a waste of time. And yes. then I, <laughs> from TikTok and then offering this kind of course. So, kaya yun yung question ko baka makatulong kayo. So, actually, I invested medyo malaki din. So, parang I'm willing to take another risk, another shot. So, that's why interested ako. Kung, pa, kasi at least hindi na masyadong mahirap kasi I already have a 
uh, Amazon account and all, kailangan ko lang mag-change ng business model kasi sobrang hirap. Uh, ayoko nang pag ayoko ng gagawa pa ako ng logo and everything. Ang hirap talaga <laughs> sa private label while sa online arbitrage. So yun yung concern ko kasi hindi ko pa masyadong natutunan if possible ba na mag-shift ako. Hindi ko na kailangan uh, mag-create again ng uh, mag-create ulit ng another account. If that's possible. Yes. yes, very possible. Ganyan din yung nangyayari sa akin. I started out as private label hanggang sa nag-quit ako. <laughs> nag-quit ako mag-private label. Kasi nga, ayoko na nung cost. Grabe yung cost, expenses. And then yes. dito ako nag- nag-grow. Sa... Uh, okay. Tapos, uh, Miss Rai, meron pa po ba kayo natirang product? Kasi right now, ang dami kasi product na binili ko eh. Kasi since... Uh, yung ano ko nga supplier is from Alibaba. So, para makuha ko yung pinakamura na price. So, yung binili ko, like 200 Marami. plus na uh, oo. Tapos, hindi na siya nag-move. Uh, ano bang pwede mangyari dyan? Hindi ba ma-affect on if ever meron akong bagong product na source ko sa US tas meron akong parang product na hindi nag-move? We, wala na talaga siyang sales this month like that actually ang ginawa ko para hindi ako ma-penalty or para hindi matanggal yung ano ko uh, yung item tawag niya yung listing i asked my sister from US to buy at least one or three para lang hindi siya ma-remove pero ah, okay. kung hindi siya bibili wala talagang benta ang bumili lang is yung mga client ko <laughs> inutusan ko pa mga client ko to, <laughs> to purchase my product para lang talaga mag-move So talagang um, hindi talaga siya effective. So I I nung nalaman ko about online arbitrage, so I wanted to change a business model. Feeling ko mag-work talaga siya. So ayun. Uh, okay, ganito yung gagawin mo. Ah, uh, marami pa bang natira? Yes, like I purchased like 210 right now. I have like mga 200. Dami. Nag-PPC ka po ba? Ah, uh, ang problema kasi sa PPC hindi sila nagbibigay ng organic reach. I think they detected it as parang fake or something kasi nga hindi ko siya na private label. Para kumbaga, ang ah, dating is generic okay. siya. So dun, tapos ang dami ko nang nag-reach out na ako sa Amazon, customer service, parang hindi ko mag-gets. Basta hindi siya nagbibigay ng organic reach kasi I think, uh, yun nga, dapat <clears throat> private label ko siya. Dapat may name na ako, hmm. may mga kung ano-ano pa. Kaso generic yung ginawa ko kasi yun nga, hindi ko alam na for private label pala yun kasi unique yung product ko. Kasi nga, walang kaparehas. Yes. I thought na pag unique yung product mo, mas madaming bibili sa'yo. Pero Uh-oh. hindi pala yun ganun. Dapat i-private label mo siya. Meron yes. pang logo. So yun, hmm. hindi ko na kaya mag-invest ng ganun paka daming effort. So kaya Uh-oh. gusto ko mag-online arbitrage. Yes. Um, you can actually start away. Yung nag-start ako ng online arbitrage, may natitira pa product ako sa private label. Okay. okay. So so yung mga parang slow moving na products ko sa private label, yung ginawa ko is bumaba talaga ako ng presyo. Break even. Wala yes. akong profit, wala akong loss, pero break even. Yan yung ginawa ko ngayon. So so far may bumili dalawa. I don't okay, hopefully. that's that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Hopefully, mag-work siya. <laughs> that's a good sign po. Uh, uh, for you to, para wala kang loss talaga, th- this is just my suggestion po ha, mag-start ka ng online arbitrage para okay. makagay na yun ng profit. Kasi, as long as may products ka sa Amazon, magda-deduct yan sila. Storage cost sa oh, oh. subscription. Yes, correct. They deducted me already sa credit card. So, uh, you stop the PPC po. You stop the uh, yes. PPC. Nag-stop na ako kasi nag-downgrade ako from I think yung professional ba tawag noon yung meron kang uh, monthly ah, subscription. Ah, point ninety nine ka. Oo, so dinowngrade ko na siya. Tapos hindi na siya once kasi downgraded na, like hindi ka na professional something. Hindi ka na uh, qualified na mag-PPC. FBA. Uh, and yeah, and FBA to hindi din. So, yun. Yun yung nangyari. Ano Ang na lang. Sa- bale, pagka, bale, pag, if ever, if ever lang po ha, ito yung ano, ma- if ever you really want to sell, uh, doing this business model na online arbitrage, huh? mag, sorry, uh, okay, mag-start ka Hi. na ng on, yan nga yung ano niya, i-share mo, i- ano mo. Wait lang. Sorry ha, wait lang. I- i- ano lang natin si, ano. Okay. Ah, uh, i-unmute mo lang ma'am kasi na-mute. Ah, uh, i- 
mag-start ka na ng online arbitrage, i-convert mo yung account mo to 39.99 na, na professional selling fee. Okay. Tapos mag-start tayo ng online arbitrage para kung yung profit ni online arbitrage, yun na yung magiging pambayad ng monthly subscription mo tsaka storage cost ng private label mo kasi it's going to keep on deducting you po. And you're gonna be at loss lalo na nag-break even ka na sa mga products mo. So, bale, bahala na lang na nandyan yan. Okay. I, at, at that point at that point nga ma'am I was about to like dispose my product kasi ayoko na nga <laughs> but then I realized na sige mag-start na ako ng online arbitrage para yung mga expenses ko dito sa private labels total wala namang PPC cost yun na lang yung pagiging bali nagbabayad yung tip online arbitrage na lang yung nagbabayad ng mga expenses ko sa private label na product hanggang sa naubos na siya wala na siya ngayon. <laughs> okay. Kasi yun nga po yung concern ko nga na ano baka babalik na naman sa from scratch like I have to create a new account ah, and no, no, no. apply. So at least alam ko na na I, I can still use my existing Amazon if ever I'll go with a, a program. Yes, yes. No, no. No need. No need po. That's that's even great kasi may account na. Ah, sige po. You really answered my question. So, <laughs> nakatulong. <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you, thank you. Okay, thank you. Next, uh, we have Sir Si si Ma'am Easy ba yun kanina? Ay, hindi. Si si Ma'am Rich pala. Uh, si Ma uh, Sir Ma'am Easy? Ah, uh, ito si Lloyd. Si Sir Lloyd. Hello. Hello. Hello sir. Hello. Hi. Uh, sorry, medyo, medyo advanced na yung mga pinag-uusapan. Hindi na ako masyadong makasabay. <laughs> Ang tanong ko lang kasi beginner pa lang kami. Yeah. Uh, ano po ba yung kailangan para makareceive ng payout? Kailangan ba ng PayPal or kailangan po ba ng... Payoneer. Ano po ba yung kailangan? A payoneer. Okay. Pero may bank account ka naman po. Meron po. Yung transfer-wise pwede po. Pwede, pero mas cheap talaga sa payoneer. <laughs> I've tried oh, that. Pay yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay po. Ah, uh, yun lang naman po. Tsaka ay uh, pasensya na po kaya kasi medyo yung yung uh, kasi may work pa rin ako ngayon actually. So, yung pong price ng course niyo pwede na bang malaman? <laughs> yes, I know you're gonna oh. ask. Pero I don't wanna like direction no no course. I tried I I I I prepared I prepared a presentation for a while. Okay, here. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, so here, I call it the knowledge investment. <laughs> I don't want to call it like a, a fee. I call it knowledge investment. Kasi investment siya, di ba? Learning. And investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. I really find learning uh, the best investment. For me lang, ha? Okay, that's that, That's what Ben Franklin also quoted. Okay, so uh, for a while, how do I... Okay, there. Okay. So, course sessions ko, this is the inclusion, ay, course, course sessions. Sa course fee ng Amazon Academy, here, eh, here are the inclusions. We're gonna have a four, four one-hour live sessions. Live po yan lahat. Iba-iba yung topics sa so four-hour live sessions. And of course, after that four-hour live session, four one-hour live sessions, it doesn't end there. The questions doesn't end there. Uh, sure ako, marami pang magtatanong and everything kasi hindi pa mag lahat. It's gonna get overwhelmed. Uh, my six months access to question and answer hour. So my uh, hours tayo uh, is still in Zoom sa mga para ma-address yung mga question nyo. We, um, we're, we're going to teach you the Amazon Online Arbitrage Workflow. So when I say workflow, that means from start to end, hanggat sa makapag-sell kayo, or even hanggat sa makapag-sell kayo, I know you're going to ask a lot of questions. That's why we have um, question and answer hours. Next is product research. This is the most overwhelming part of the course kasi ito, alam ng mga VAs to na medyo tricky yung product research. That's why uh, we will also include product research. Actually, yung two hours ng live session, it's all gonna be about product research kasi ito yung bread and butter natin. Sa, sa business na to, product research, product research. Next, you're gonna have a one-year access to the recorded videos kasi if you wanna like check again the videos and like study again. One month access to free product leads list. What do I mean by this? 
uh, from my experience, yung mga students ko, like Jetsa, na-overwhelm pa siya sa product research. Unless if may mga BAs na dito na parang ang dali-dali lang sa kanila yung product research, di ba? But if you're a newbie, mahihirapan talaga sa product research at first. But it's gonna get easy over time. Okay? Do not ever worry. Uh, pero, I want I want you guys to experience agad kasi I, ma- mawawalan kasi ng gana I know na mawawala ng gana na after after the session and everything pwede na makapag-sell pero hindi makahanap ng product. Nawawala ng gana kasi hindi na makapagbenta. So that's why I am giving a one month access to free product lead list. Okay? So doon kayo makapaghanap ng product na ibebenta if you want to sell that product. Okay? Kasi alam kong ayokong mawalan kayo ng gana during the the sessions. I I I want to keep on following you up guys na kung as much as possible let's start earning na or if 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 you're okay na if 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 we can start like doing this business already that's why my free product leads list coming ibibigay sa inyo okay one month access yan and then last is lifetime access to exclusive group may exclusive group tayo you can talk with your classmates you can um share ideas kasi Filipino lang din tayo no? but but tayo magko-compete no but tayo magko-compete yung i-compete natin yung other sellers na hindi Pinoy <laughs> dapat tulung magtulungan tayo dito no it's 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 great to help okay mm-hmm. and to answer your course fee ayan so this is not i just want to remind you guys uh, wait for a while let's just okay I want to remind you guys that this is not just a course. This is a program for aspiring Amazon sellers uh, to help them achieve their business vision and goals. Hindi lang siya course. Kasi kung course lang siya, we will feed you with knowledge. Yun lang. We'll feed you with knowledge. But if this is a program, everything will be like, para ma- like i-guide talaga kayo hanggat sa makapag-sell kayo. That's what we're really doing sa aming mga students ngayon na i-guide sila hanggat sa makakapag-sell sila, i doon, i-motivate sila. And that's why I'm trying to tell, uh, I'm trying to say that this is not just a course, but it's a program. So, the original price is 22,999 for for the one-time payment. But nagbibigay nagbigay kasi ako ng discount sa mga few uh, sa mga antag doon, sa mga few students, sa mga students na nag-trust agad no nagtrust agad sa akin i'm i'm really happy that they trusted me right away uh, they don't know me but they trusted me uh they trusted me right away that's why i i gave them discounts so si batch 1 tapos si batch 2 si batch 3 now yung kasunod yung next batch is december wait lang ha, let me check next batch is december 17 Okay, so this is December 14. Si batch 4 ay December 17. And this is the course fee of batch 4. One-time payment, 18398 But of course, I don't want, again, as much as possible, I'm trying to help here. I, I This is, I, that's why I, 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 I mean, as much as possible, di tayo mahihirapan dito, lahat, no? So sa mga hindi pa talaga, ano tag doon? afford yung one time payment you can just have the installment so diba for four live sessions siya so every time you pay for one installment you're going to have an access to each topics okay i hope i made myself clear and for vas you can if you are already good with product research you don't need to pay for product research <laughs> you're just going to pay for the first and the last live session for vas na online arbitrage ha Online arbitrage. So that's a fifty percent off. Yes, for VAs. How much is the cost? For VAs, for VAs, for VAs. For how much is it? If wala yung dalawa, so around fifty percent. Because oh, <laughs> oh wow. Yes, yeah, for VAs. But but of course, you're not gonna attend the VA. Na I mean, sa product research, <laughs> na sessions. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ooh, ano po modes of payment natin, Ms. Ray? Ah, uh, bank. Uh, we are go- uh, naka, naka-follow na po ba kayo sa ang tag, sa page na Amazon Academy? Facebook, TikTok ko lang kasi nakita yung ano nyo. So, ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. Sige, yes, I'll chat Facebook. Po, I'll chat. 
it's Amazon e Academy e Academy okay Amazon e Academy you can uh, we will send you there the the ano kasi nilagay ko siya at first sa website kaso uh, nagtataxi eh. so yung 18,000 yun umabot hanggang 20k and I don't want that <laughs> I, that's why diretso sa bank tinop ko yun <laughs> Uh, yes. uh, or how often po yung sessions pala, Miss uh, Miss Wright? Once a week po ba yung sessions or? Yung... Uh, sa first few batch, since few, di pa gano'ng masyari. Karami, di ba? Like, apat lang, tatlo sa mga batches. Um, two weeks, natapos na yung whole session. Pero of course, I don't want to like pressure you na na dapat mag-a-attend ka agad. But, yung kasi, yung nangyari nung nung first few batches, gusto kong makapag-sell sila agad kasi it's quarter four. Quarter four is December. That means, maraming sales. Maraki yung sales. Kahit yung mga VA, tanongin nyo, di ba marami yung sales ng client daw no, basta December? Quarter four. <laughs> uh, November pa lang po, ang dami na namin ano. Yes. Na namin, basta quarter four. Ang dami Yes. Sobra. Basta quarter four. <laughs> That's why... Sobra. Yes. That's why, sabi ko, bilisan natin to. Sabi ko, in two weeks, dapat, uh, dap, yes, October, start ng October, nag, yung sales, grabe. Yung December, grabe. That's why, um yung first few batches, sabi ko, we have to make this fast. I, I don't want to pressure you, but at the same time, we have to make this fast para makahabol kayo sa quarter four. Miss Ray, yung live session, anong oras po yan usually magsa-start? Same time. Same time po. It's, uh, gabi. I, uh, yeah, gabi. Kasi there are other people who are working. So it will start like December 17 if mag enroll kami. Yes, December 17 at uh 7 p.m. Kasi 6 may nag-work pa sa first batch. We're gonna talk sa each batch kasi we're gonna have like a poll kung okay ba kayo sa time na to kasi, kasi it's it's better diba kung sa live talaga kayo makakapag-attend and not sa pre-recorded. Miss Rai, kung hindi maka-attend sa pre-record ay sa live uh, can we access the pre-recorded pare? Okay. You can access the pre-recorded or you can join the next batch. It's okay. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Yes, okay. Thank you. Hi, question yes. po. Yes, yes. Uh, who's talking? Ria? Uh-huh. Miss Ria? Uh, Charlotte you. po. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Hi, Charlotte. What if po, uh, for the VA, na, syempre, uh, for first timer, we can afford pa for the, uh, uh, yung sa 18,000 uh, can do we have an option for ano payment po sa VA na half uh, like you mentioned po it's like half lang tama po ba ah di ba sa one time payment is for the four live sessions di ba yes, but for VAs na ayaw nang mag-attend kasi it's going to get boring to all of you guys kasi manual advisor yes. lang ito tura and kipa so uh, mm-hmm. since hindi na kayo mag-aattend noon you're going to have a 50% discount. So that's around, I think, 9,000 something. 9,000? Nine, nine like that. So yung 9,000 po, yung 9,200 po yung babayaran ng uh, VA. Possible din po ba for installment yung 9,000? Uh, I'm gonna talk with my team about that po. Actually. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I really want to really join that. Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh, yeah, uh, it, as much as possible. By I, any as chance, much as I want to. Mm-hmm. Huh? By any chance, if uh, I just want to ask if possible, pero kung hindi, uh, that's okay. Pa rin yeah, naman. sure. Yeah, sure. I will talk with my team about that. Kasi ayaw, ayaw ko din parang magde-decide. Yeah, yeah, so, diba? Kasi ito too, lang so. talaga yung napag-usapan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry po. Thank you so and, much. No, it's okay. It's okay. I will try to connect with me and my uh, personal Facebook uh, account. And we will talk. And that's true. Yeah, thank you so much, Paul. Thank you, thank you. Uh, more questions, Paul? My questions, Paul? Miss, Miss Rai, uh, question. Yes, uh, Miss Ivy. Um, yes, Paul. Sabi mo is, pag halimbawa, nakapag-sell na kami. Halimbawa, naubos na yung, uh, halimbawa, first product namin is 10 pieces of a uh, skincare, ganon. Halimbawa, pag maubos na yon, so, mga ilang days or weeks bago mag-reflect sa bank account namin yung na gain namin sa ano sa Amazon. 2 weeks. Okay, thank you. Yun lang weeks po. <laughs> thank you. Uh question, Miss Ria. 
Hi. Hi. Um, so I was going to ask about the time, but you already answered that it's uh, around evening. So that's good because we work mornings. And um, anyway, uh, for the installment, how does that go and how many months and via what payment method? Okay. So yung mangyayari po is every week my live sessions po. And then that every week my live session, yung one hour live session. Every Saturday po 'yan. And then kung installment for a while. Kung installment, if you're going to pay, for example, if you're going to pay for the first in installment, you're going to have an access to the first live session. And then kung hindi ka uh, kung ang tawag doon, if you're going to pay for the uh, next installment, you're going to have an access to the second session. Apat kasi yan. Parang... Okay, uh, I got it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, so thank will, you. Ha, so will you be sending us... Like, how do we... Uh, how do we... How do you call this? How do we confirm our intention to, to register? You mean enroll po? Yeah, or enroll, yes. Uh, via... You can uh, contact the team via the Amazon Academy Facebook page or you can directly contact me. Uh, Raisi Manina Facebook. Okay. So um, my daughter, if she wants to join, but the thing is she does not have um, maybe a credit card or a, a proof of billing. So mm -hmm. can that be under my name, but then she's doing the business? How does that go? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we can just ask you in uh afterwards how to go about yes. it. Thank you. Yes, but uh yung e interview po is you sa Amazon. Ah, okay, okay. But will it okay, Sige, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh my question pa po ba? Uh Miss Rai. Yes, hi ma'am Rich. Uh, Ms. Rai, sabi niya pa, we have like 50% if uh, yun sa mga VA. Pwede po ba namin malaman kung ano sa sa 50%, ano yung coverage na makukuha namin? Kasi uh, para alam ko kung ano yung, uh, kasi there are few things na medyo alam ko na sa Amazon, which is yung sa product research. Uh, meron kasi akong VA na who can provide me a product already so I don't have to like, alamin pa yung about product research ka. So, yung ano naman, yung tool na ginagamit, like yung Kepa, ano ba yun? Yung yes. may mention nyo. Hin gusto ko yung, gusto ko yung siya malaman kung paano yun siya gawin para makakalculate ko yung uh, income ko. Cover ba yan siya dun sa 9,000 na customized for VA? Kasi gusto ko Kipa malaman. Kipa is ano po, Kipa is part of the VA course kasi Yung kipa is yung tool yung pag product research. And okay. I, I I would really suggest na mag, mag enroll ka sa VA course kasi parang if i asa mo siya lahat sa VA and you will not double check the products, baka mafailan ka ng IT complaint or na oversee ng VA mo na negative ka pala sa ROI. It's better mm -hmm. to laga to know first the whole uh, business before uh, giving them to the VA. Mm, okay. Ah, sige. Uh, Ms. Rai, I can chat you privately, right? If I have uh, yes. other questions. Yes, sige. yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, sir, I question a lot. Yes. Um, do you provide also yung mga list of prep center na pwede namin gamitan in the US? I have a partner prep center. And from it, I trust, I, and um, I can assure that it's the cheapest. For us Filipinos. Ah, uh, okay. So, yung sa two batch, uh, two live session ng, ano, ng, um, talking about Kipa and product research, kasama na rin doon yung prep center or it is on another uh, live session? Fourth. Fourth si prep center. Fourth live session. Kasi paano na siya? Uh, Pa-end na siya. Ah, okay. Just making sure na ano, uh, covered yung mga basis ka. Thank you. Pero anyway, yung mga VA ba dito, may Amazon seller account na? Um, ano po kami? By the, uh, may, sa, on my part po, as a VA, may ano lang po kami, may access lang po kami, bigay ng aming clients. Uh, that's so, an Amazon.com account, not the seller account. 
Yes po. So, bali, uh, may ano lang kami. May access kami doon to check for IT, for private labor, yeah, for yeah. Um, yung sa yeah, sinasabi yeah. na ano, yeah, permission. Na negative ROI ay highly suggested po sa mga newbie or sa mga hindi pa masyadong marunong na ano, you enroll on a um, and enroll yun ng dalawa kasi minsan kahit ako, medyo, mal, medyo ano na Hindi ko naman sinasabi na marunong na marunong talaga ako. But there is always a uh, mishap. Mama, overlook mo talaga. Lalo na pag maganda yung, ano, maganda yung item, ganun-ganun. Tapos, imbis na 30% pala yung ROI, 30%, sabi mo, 30% yung ROI na to. And the next thing na i- uh, review mo, naging 20% na lang siya, ganun. Yes, so, yes. Mas, mas mabuting, ano, mas mabuting may alam ka doon sa, ano, sa... Product, uh, product research talaga. Kasi yun yung pinaka-basic talaga sa lahat ng ano, ng gagawin mo sa Amazon. PPC, uh, pwedeng hindi mo alam yan or whatever. <laughs> Basta the product research kasi yung product research dun kasi nang gagaling lahat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you very much from ID, ID for suggesting that to them. Thank you. Thank you po. <laughs> Mr. I, last na lang sa schedule. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Kasi pa sabi niya po, meron tayong four live sessions. Tama po ba yun? One, yes. uh, isang beses sa uh, isang uh, in one week. So, mm-hmm. so if uh, mag-enroll kami for third batch, that will start on 17, which is Saturday. Then next session, 24, then 31st. Tapos second, I mean, seven, tama po ba, of January? Hindi uh, ba yung schedule? Lang, 17, 24, 31, and 7, yes. 31, oh, okay. Kasi I'm not available kasi on the 31st. Ah, okay, okay. But sa 31st, ano po ba yung topic natin dyan sa 31st? If ever hindi Prod- ako makajong live. Uh, product, can... research. product research. Product research pa rin. Pali, ah, okay. uh, introduction and essentials, dalawang product research. Kasi yun talaga yung pinakamadugo, yung product research. Dalawang live sessions sa product research. And then the last one is yun na, yung workflow sa prep center. Okay. Pero pre-recorded po, po yun if ever di kami maka-join sa live. Yes. Yes. We will okay. give you the link. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank Ilang you. Pa- thank you. Thank you. Uh, may question pa po ba? Oh, yes, I, sorry. Can. Sorry. I, I have to cut you off. Sorry. Uh, we're gonna end at 10 po kasi we really need to respect each other's time. Uh, we are gonna end at 10. So I'm still going to cater more questions. Yes, Miss Maya? Yes. Uh, question po about sa payment, yung sa installment. If ever po na, kasi I'm also working po, and yung budget ko, kun, kunwari po hindi ka, yung first meeting lang yung nabayaran, then na-miss mo yung second schedule, can you still join the other batch? I will give you the link of the pre-recorded video po. Um, I mean, um, Diba po, or you can join then the fifth batch yes. na second session. Yes, kung hindi hindi for example lang um hindi na fully pay yung sa, sa installment po na first, second, third, you missed about um isang ano doon hindi ko nabayaran. So I can still join the other batch. Yes, if you want it live. If you want it live, you can join the other batch. But if you want to like really start na ganyan, you can always have the pre-recorded session. Kasi okay. na-miss na siya. Yeah. Okay. Thank, okay. You. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Jennifer, I think you're raising your hand. Yes, good evening. Yes, good evening, Ma'am Jennifer. Hello, as syempre a uh, beginner beginner ako no. So paano yon as in tuturuan kami na from the yung pag set pa lang ng account from ganun ba yung simula niya? Yes. Yan ba yung ano niya? Ah, okay, yes. as in talagang parang uh, iga-guide from the yung start talaga yung Yes. From newbie talaga account. siya na course. For newbie ah, like okay. zero knowledge ah, okay. ng Amazon. Ay, okay, okay, okay. Sige, sige, sige. From thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you, Ma'am Jennifer. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Uh, hi. Sure. Thank you. Hi, hi. Okay. Who's talking? <laughs> Sorry. Maria. Sure. Uh, okay. Hey, yes, Maria. Okay, so align, I mean, in relation to that last question, um, you're going to group us, right, if ever, because 
I understand there are a lot of VAs here already and, you know, not, not the same level of uh, knowledge and understanding. So you're going to group us cause, so that they won't get annoyed with our questions. Oh, and... <laughs> and, um, uh, bale, hindi na kasi sila mag-a-attend sa two live sessions, yung product research. Okay. They don't know right. about, I think, I think they don't have yet the knowledge about the first live session and the fourth live session. So, bale, parehas lang kayo na knowledge doon. May else lang sila sa, pri sa product research. Okay, got it. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Uh, Sir Ren? Siriban? You're raising your hand, po. Hello, ma'am. Uh, medyo shoppy po, Sir Ren. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Can you hear me po? Ah, okay, okay. There, I can hear you now. Hello, ma'am. Oh, okay. May question po. So, na-mention po yung so, tuturoan po doon kung paano mag-create ng account. Ask ko po. Mag yung i-create po na account is new. Bago. Bago talaga siya. From the scratch. Kasi, yes, from scratch. Ah, Mag-a-VA din po ako. So, yung plan ko kasi is some of the sellers kasi ang ginagawa is bumibili ng all the accounts. Okay, okay. So, gagawa po ng new account. Yes, gagawa. Uh, I, I can't hear you well, but I think I understand your question. The sellers, yung mga amo nyo, or like yung mga sellers, sa, not Filipino sellers, they are buying accounts because if you're a newbie seller, if bago ka pa lang, thank you for the question, uh, if bago ka pa lang, gated ka sa almost all categories. Hindi ka makapag-sell. You have to apply to sell first. Pero kapag old na yung account, dami ng uh, ungated na mga, na mga product or categories or brands. That's why they're trying to buy. Pero yung ituturo ko is new, new account. Yes po. Tama po yun. Gated po. Para sa mga hindi po alam, gated po yung hindi kayo pwedeng uh, magbenta ng items na yun. So may mga experience po. So question po kasi um, hindi po ba magiging problem? Kasi ako naisip ko from nung next week ako mag -VA. Parang kung pwede ba sa Filipino, pwede bang mag-sell sa Amazon dahil Filipino? Ang question ko po yung address, hindi po magiging issue yung address natin o gagamitin pa rin po ba natin yung address natin dito pagka nag-apply ka? Yeah, uh, address, uh, yung ginagamit ko ngayon is our address here sa Bohol. Oh, they they oh, op they have opened they they have opened na uh, last May 2022 yung Pakistan in open nila na pwede na yung mga Pakistan sellers and they're now ranked number two as the number of sellers next to US so yung Filipinos matagal nang na open hindi lang alam na mga Pilipino na pwede pala okay ma'am right thank you thank you thank you uh next question. Miss Wendy? Yes, Miss Rai, good evening. Uh, good evening. Ask ko lang po, ano pong mayayari doon sa mga products na hindi nabili? I mean, may mga condition ba sa pag-store sa warehouse? Okay. Uh, part of our course is product research, di ba? Sa product research, check natin, VAs, correct me if I'm wrong. Sa product research, check natin if that product is selling well, ilan yung uh, items na nabibenta every day, every month, ilan yung sellers na nagbibenta sa product niyan. So you have to compute if magjo-join ako sa listing na to, if ibibenta ko tong product nito, na to, is it gonna get sold for a month? Yun yung target natin na dapat yung mga products natin in three months, ubos na pinakamataas na yung 3 months, dapat ubos na yung last ng products natin. Kasi, we're gonna pay for storage cost. Yes. Pero hindi kayo maapektuhan ng storage cost. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. po yan. Tama-tama uh, tama ako, di ba? <laughs> yes, uh, usually, uh, our clients, uh, ang laging gusto nilang i-hit is, for a month, kailangan maubos na yun, or for one and a half a month, maubos na yung, ano, yung product para hindi masyadong ano costly yung Amazon ano ba yun storage 
Yan. Ay, Miss Ray, may tanong po. Sige, mamaya na lang po. <laughs> uh, follow up question lang mam dun sa question ko. So, ibig sabihin pala, um, may may storage cost pa. So, meron po bang um, techniques or uh, ways para i-boost yung, ano, yung uh, items namin? Okay. Again, sa online arbitrage, we're not gonna pay for ads. Wala tayong, hindi ta, hindi dapat, hindi na natin kailangan ipag, ipagtasabi yung how do you call it in Tagalog, uh, i- i- inform lahat na may binibenta tayong products. Kasi again, we're gonna sell products na bumibenta na. Yung part of the product uh, research ko, uh, course is to teach you how to sell products na bumibenta. Na uh, sorry. Uh, ko nga. Um, pero although, kasi given that uh, we are um, beginners, so uh, and as you said nga po, tricky yung product research. So we possible na meron kaming ma research na hindi pala ganun yung expected, yung inexpect namin na sales. Stop. Kasi nakamali kami on how we did the product research. So uh, there's still a possibility na um, may mga items na hindi kami mabenta. So uh, ano po ba yung ano natin doon? Parang Yes, if if hindi mo talaga if na oversee mo talaga na pero parang ano naman uh, so doon. Pag na oversee mo na yung yung pero makikita na makasi sa graph na itong product ay itong product na to na bumebenta na lang once 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 a month, thrice a month ganon. So makikita mo 'yan sa graph. Don't worry. Pero if you are really doubting sa sarili mo, just like Jessa, di ba? You remember Jessa, my student. Uh, actually etong etong topic na to, I'm just going to te- uh, I'm, I'm supposed to uh, tell you this during the uh, course. I'm, I'm supposed to offer this uh, pagka start na. But then I uh, if you are doubting yourself kung kaya mo ba mag product research, just like Jessa, we have product leads list. Pero you have to pay for that. You don't need to like product research, la, la, la. Bale, bibigyan ka na namin ng product leads list. Ito double check mo na lang po. If, if, if you, if you, you really want to buy that, if you don't want to sell that kind of brand or category, leads list yan siya. Okay, I'm just gonna tell the, the price. <laughs> it's 5,000 per month. It's 5,000 per month. And, Leads list siya, siya. Products yan na pwedeng ibenta na may profit na maalam nyo na kung magkano yung ROI. If uh, you're okay. doubting yourself. That, so, okay, that's beyond the um, initial na, dun sa kasama po dun sa course na... Yes, yes. Okay. No, no, no. So, but even after the four-week uh, duration of the course, pwede kami mag-avail na parang subscription of the leads list. Yes, yes. I have VAs for that. Parang ako, ako yung, mm-hmm. parang may VAs ako na nagbibigay ng leads. Tapos yun na lang, yung leads i-ano i- i- namin sa isang Google Sheet or form. Tapos yun na yung parang diretsyo na sa Amazon link, sa store link, ganyan. Ah, okay. Well, ilang, ilang items po yung list? And how, how often? Uh, ilang items po yung nandun sa list? Every month po ito, ano po? Yes, yes. Every month. Uh-huh. Every month and release or every week? Ay, Pero yung, bini, yung binibigay yung lead, leads? Uh, it's uh, every day. It's every day. 10 uh, leads per day. Yes, 10 leads per day. Okay, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Para yan sa mga ano ha, if you have limited um, ang tawag doon, startup capital, don't engage yourself to more cost muna. Okay? If you are going to uh, buy our product leads list, which is 5,000 plus 5,000 na product, I mean tools, that's 10,000 per month na expenses. So you have to make sure na yung profit mo, more than 10,000 every month para may pangbayad ka sa, I mean, para hindi ka na, like you're gonna take out another uh, batch of money from your pocket para bayaran lang yung expenses. Uh, any more questions? Sorry. Uh, I think. Ay, yung yes. about lead list. For mm-hmm. example, pili ka po ng one month access, uh, one month access, and then you 
uh, product doon. Is it okay? Sorry po, nag-choppy kasi. Ano, ano po yung last na sinabi mo? Kung nag, uh, bumili ka po ng access sa lead list, then nakahanap ka ng profitable na product, um, okay lang ba na yun na, na product yung lagi mong ibibenta or kailangan talaga nagpapalit ka every now and then ng bago na namang product? Okay. There's a thing called replenishable or replens. Or ano tawag yung replenishable? Basta replens, tawag dyan. Bale, yung replens product, yun yun yung product na lagi mong binibili kasi hindi nag-change yung, yung price niya sa online store. Kasi pag, di ba yung bibilhin ng mga deals natin, nakabuy one, get one. For example, sa Black Friday, nag-80% sila. By next week, hindi na yan Black Friday sale, di ba? So, iba na yung price. Hindi mo na yun bibilhin. Oh, I see. Okay yes. po. Thank you. Uh, more? Any more question? It's uh, 10 minutes to 10. Hi, hello, ma'am. Yes, uh, who's talking? Sorry. Oh, uh, ma'am, uh, yung client ko po kasi is um, FBM siya ngayon. Kasama po ba sa course yung FBM converted to FBA? Yung client mo po yung FBM. Opo, oh, yes, ma'am. FBM pa, pa, pa po siya. Tapos... Um, Gusto niya mag-FBA? Opo, oh, yes, ma'am. Ah, bali, hindi po ikaw yung mag mag-take ng course? Tama po ba? Um, ako po yung mag, mag-take ng course, ma'am. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, FBA po yung, yung course natin. I mean, uh, what do you mean po? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, gusto, ko, gusto po niya kasi yung um, FBM siya ngayon tapos gusto niyang mag uh, convert to FBA. Tapos mag... Ah, okay. uh, opo. Tuturuan mo siya? Opo, yes po. Ah, okay. Yes, yes. It's easy. Um, okay po. Thank you. Kailang, uh, pero yung FBM niya, naka-prep center ba? O siya talaga yung nag, mismong nagpapak ng product? Siya po. Siya po yung nagpapak ah, ng product. Prep center yung problema niya. Yan lang po. Mm-hmm. Prep center lang. Okay. Sige po. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, any more questions po? Miss Rai, last na. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, yes, Miss Lenny. <laughs> uh, Richie po. Uh, Miss Rai, oh, sorry. pwede po ba na? Kasi halos lahat ko, lahat ko sa alam ko lang, hindi ko lang alam is yung prep center and then going to Amazon warehouse storage. Meron po ba kayong customized package na yun lang po yung <laughs> i-enroll ko? A VA course, I mean VA course, yung VA package po. Ah, okay, okay. Yung VA package. Sige, sige. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So, prep center yes. lang po yun siya. Tsaka Amazon. Y- yun May lang Amazon yun. seller account ka na po, ma'am, no? Yes po. Meron na po. As in, nag-exist. I have product already. Gusto ko lang mag-change ng business model na from private label. So, gusto ko lang online arbitrage. Kaya lang, wala akong knowledge sa prep center. Yung ganun. Um, ano ba yan? Uh, actually, Set kasi na yung napag... Yeah, actually yung napag-usapan kasi ng team is ito. But oh, okay. um okay. itas yung VA course, but kasi napansin namin during the product research na bubor na yung mga VAs. So, bale, yun 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 yung offer namin para sa mga VAs talaga. But since ikaw may my seller account ka na, uh, alam mo na yung product research, bale yung prep center na lang yung hindi mo alam po, yes, tama po. po ba? Yes po, tama po, tama po. We don't have a package yet for that, but I think the least that you can avail is the VA package. But I try, I'll try to ask the team about that po, kasi that's that's what I know and that's what we have discussed po. Sa VA package po, kasi uh, cover po ba yung pag-add uh, ng listing? Like kasi I haven't tried adding a listing na yung source is online arbitrage. So kasali po yes. ba yan? Yes, okay. yes. Bale, okay. kasali lahat except for product research. Ah, okay. I think that will do. So, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, any more questions po? Ang dami pala na great. Sige, uh, diretso na kaya unmute. <laughs> uh, Miss Rai, last question yes. for yes, me. Yes, Miss Ivy. Um, narinig ko po kasi kanina yung sinabi mo na with interview sa Amazon. Ano po yun? 
ah, okay, kasi, um, don't worry, it's not an interview na parang na job interview. You're just gonna prepare your, okay. ang tawag doon, ID or passport kasi ipabibend nila yan kung totoo kang tao. <laughs> Tapos magre-record, uh, record, mag, mag-uusap lang kayo. Mag, yan. Ah, so parang authentication lang? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Tataka <laughs> ako, ba't magtatanong na kung ba, saan, <laughs> saan tayo no, nanggaling no, no. or whatever. <laughs> no, okay, if, you're, if 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 Sorry talaga, if yung mga nag-chat, paki-ano na lang po, paki-on na lang po ng ano nyo kasi ang dami, hindi ko na maano. Sige po, paki-unmute po yung mga nag- gusto magtanong. Am I right? Yes, yes? Ah, hello ma'am. Uh, ask ko lang po ma'am kasi baka po dispatch hindi ako maka- makasali. May mga following batch pa po ba? Yes, of course. Yes, meron. Ah, okay. Pa, bali magtitingin na lang po ako sa ano sa website ko. Ah, uh, website or the just follow the Facebook page. Ah, uh, thank you for giving the link, Jean. Thank you. The 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 the, the, the uh, don yung link ng Facebook pages nasa chat pa. Okay, thank Sorry, you, Sorry, eh, pero hindi siya masyadong active. Hindi siya masyadong active, but we'll we'll really reply naman po. Okay po, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, questions po? Uh, no more questions po ba? Ah, uh, yes. Hello. Uh, may question lang po ko regarding dun sa IDs. Um, uh, driver's license tsaka passport lang po ba talaga yung kailangan or may iba pang ibang acceptable IDs? National ID, but I I haven't tried kasi yung national ID natin dito. <laughs> Nasa, bali, yung tatlo lang. Passport, driver's license, saka national ID, but I, I I haven't tried national ID yet. Okay pa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, ma'am. Uh, ask ko lang, ma'am, kasama ba dun sa course yung ano, uh, basic accounting and inventory? Yes. Uh, ano to? Uh, ano yung ibig mo sabihin na basic accounting po? Parang, I mean, um, how to check kung yun ang alag, uh, kung profitable pa ba yung binibenta mo, gano'n. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. And, okay. Yes, See, yes. Thank you. Yes. Mam, hapal ko na rin dito yung question ni Mrs. Avila kasi interested din ako malaman. Kung meron po kami uh, nakita na uh, we did our own product research, Ah, uh, pwede na may consult sa inyo kung okay ba 'yon na ibenta. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. thank you. Just send me the link or we can have a shared Google Sheet para ah, ma-check okay. ko. Yes. Thank you. Kasi may marami da- na din kayo. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, three minutes more. Uh, may question pa po ba? Uh, sa chat may na-miss out ako sa chat siguro, but um uh Please unmute na lang po kasi ang dami eh. Uh, Ma'am, paano po malalaman kung yung binili mong product sa ibang online store ay mas mababa kasi sa Amazon? Paano malaman kung anong SRP ng isang product? Okay. Uh, I'll, just give me uh, a minute ha. I will share my screen. I will teach you how. I mean, I will show you paano. I will not teach you the whole pro- product research course there. Don't worry. I'm just gonna... Uh, ang tawag nun? Nakashare ba yung screen ko? Ayan. Stop ko na muna. Uh, okay. For a while, ha? Para masagot ko si sir. Last question na lang siguro to, ha? Uh, ipapakita ko sa inyo an example how to do it. Uh, okay.
I I I think if I I, I want to check muna first if kaya ba if hindi ba nagbago yung bar <laughs> ang tawag doon. Uh, okay there. Uh, gonna share my screen. Ah uh, no, here. Okay. Kita naman yung screen ko, no? Okay. There. For example, ito yung How do you hide this one? Okay, for example, ito yung product, no? Na nakita mo sa 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 Amazon. Okay, amazon.com. Binibenta siya sa Amazon. Uh, it's selling for 44.99, ba? Tapos nakita mo yan sa petflow.com na store, it's only 19.99. So, ito check mo yan kung magka magka profit pa. This is just an ano ha, hindi siya yung talagang <laughs> product research. Parang ipapakita ko lang sa inyo. So 44.99 yung product ano ha, yung product price sa Amazon. Bibenta mo siya ng 44.99 sa Amazon, tapos mabibili siya ng 19.99 sa anong tawag doon? 19.99 sa store. Tapos syempre may mga shipping cost cost yan on whatever prep center cost so ito yung profit mo per unit 8.45 ito yung ROI mo per unit tas tingnan mo every month may 553 sales yan pero hindi yan exact ha that's just parang ang tawag doon uh, average or predicted ganun hindi yan exact numbers just to know na yung product na to is really selling well every month next sell siya ng 500 units every month so every day divide mo yan ng 30 days so you would do the math i hope i answered sir uh tagdan si sir sino ba yung question niya <laughs> sorry uh si sir uh, ken how to avoid the wholesale business model uh You can always avoid the wholesale business model po. Just don't do it. In order for you to be a wholesaler kasi you need to message the brand owner. So don't don't just message them for you to not be engaged in a wholesale business. So I think uh, that is all. Wala na pong question, right? I uh, si Sir Bobby na grace ng hand. Tama po ba, Sir Bobby? Or Okay, last question before we stop. I uh hi Miss Rai, I have own logins to a client's brand on Amazon. They request my passport info and number already so they can create account under my name. Will it complicate? I have own login to a client's brand. On Amazon, they request my passport info and number already so that they can create account under my name. Will it complicate if I will create my own seller's account? Bakit nila po hinihingi yung passport mo and number, sir? Email lang po kailangan dun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, email lang po. Huh? Miss Rai, question. Yes, yes. Um, sa, ano ba yun? Wait lang. Uh, nawala ka sa, uh, sa ano po, sa shipping cost, uh, eto po, shipping cost niya sa US, uh, nagde-depend po ba siya sa, ano, sa weight ng product? Yeah, but it's, makakilate naman siya sa tools. So, paano na, ah, you mean, lang? yung prep, prep center to Amazon ba? Yes, apo. Di yes, ba kailangan yes. Ah, yeah. uh, so depending sa kung gaano siya kalaki or gaano siya kalapad ganun. Yeah, just don't send more than 20. Yeah. 20 <laughs> just don't send more than 20 inches. Yung para sa akin na. <laughs> ako kasi bala ko is yung mga maliliit lang yeah, na na selling. Na selling siya na. Alam mo kahit pwedeng ipasok sa bulsa mo. Yeah. Halos <laughs> hindi. Yes. <laughs> hindi mapansin 'yun. Yes. So, uh, magde-depend siya kung gaano kabigat from prep yes. to... But if it's not more than 20 inches, hindi mo yan 0.5, a dollar fifty. Yeah, least, mga ganun. Yeah, it's... it's pinakamalaki it's na yun. Yeah. It's no, minimum. pinakamalaki na yun. Ah, okay. For, Bali... for small items. Ah, uh, for small items. Mga magkano po? 
Yan nga, dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. Ah, okay, siya po. Nagkakalkita kasi ako. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, if you include the prep center cost, that's I you just just put two. Kasi one point hmm. fifty yung sa prep center plus yung dal point fifty sa shipping. Let's just put two. Para ah, okay. may, may so, ano, yung, extra. Yung $2 is the average usually. Yung, yes. Maximum na yun for below 20 uh, ah, sizes, okay, inches. Ah, okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think um I've answered well enough the, about our Amazon courses, yung iba nga, uh, about the course na. But, um, if you have more questions, you can always uh, message our uh, tag don, uh, Facebook page, or you can message me directly sa aking Facebook account. But again, hindi ko siya, hindi ako agad-agad nagre-reply kasi may iba din akong ginagawa, but I will reply. But if you are already a student, there's a separate group for that, and you will be re replied in prompt, promptly. Uh, I think that is all. Thank you very much for staying, guys. Thank you very much. And dami natin ngayon. Thank you. And um, I hope you had a great night. Good night to everyone. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you po. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.